Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We did not get a lot of content yesterday on Friday in FIFA 21. No promo. We had a party bag SBC, a new objective player, and uh, a Cavani flashback SBC. That was all of our content yesterday. Now, of course, we were maybe expecting a surprise promo. Icon SBCs. We didn't really get any of that. It was a kind of quiet day. But now, just a little bit ago, we figured out, I think, this is just my joke, but we figured out why EA didn't drop a lot of content. They released an update on the pitch notes for the player investigation relating to the Icon Moments black market. We'll talk about that in a bit, but this market is very high. I want to talk about that. And of course, uh, Icon Moments specifically, but the market as a whole is up. Icon Moments specifically after yesterday having no content really got pretty rare and have gone up a lot in price. We'll take a look at some examples of that. Now, as I'm recording this video right now, I've been talking it up all week that Road to the Final items were going to get upgraded tonight. EA has not upgraded these items yet. I don't know if they forgot to update them, but according to how they did things before, and this is the one, I have one complaint with EA this year regarding live cards. They upgrade them literally never at the same time. When headliners first came out, they were upgrading them at 6 p.m. UK when the new team of the week was dropping, whether it was for a inform that a card got or for a headliner streak. Those got updated like pronto, if not right away, like within the hour or two. And then like two weeks ago, they did it... Um, at like midnight UK on a Wednesday for all the what if cards when they first dropped the upgrades for um, these road to the final cards for the first leg of Champions League. So like when Akanji went 84 to 86, that happened the same week of the game uh, around, you know, midnight to 1 a.m. UK time on that Friday night into Saturday morning. Now, here I am sitting and recording to you live at 2.33 a.m. UK time, and these are not upgraded. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I've even backed out of FIFA once or twice, uh, but I'm not sure why EA have forgotten to upgrade these cards. I was looking forward to the upgrades. I got this Akanji at 585. I was hoping he'd go up to maybe like, you know, 630, 640,000 coins, try to get a nice little rise on the card in case people wanted to try this card out. The market's feeling pretty healthy. I bought some Draxers at 100K. This guy's going to an 87. I'm not sure what the deal with EA is, is on these, but I just don't like the inconsistency with some of these cards. But since we had that SBC yesterday, the party bag SBC, which by the way, in mine, if you did not watch the video that we put out earlier today, I packed myself Regulon, which was awesome, man. My Spurs pack luck has been incredible. Kane as a red pick, he sucks in game by the way, but uh, and Regulon, two Spurs special cards in the same two day span. So I'm actually stoked about that. But uh, a lot of the market was kind of panic sold after cards got packed. And then a rebound. You saw my transfer list. I, ha I had a couple of Joshua Kimmich. There were plenty of examples today. This happens almost every time they drop a party bag SBC is you see people kind of panic sell those cards and then they rebound. Now, Kimmich is actually back down a little bit right now, but he went from like 170, 175K down to 150 back up to 170. Uh, Chiellini Freeze was another card that had a big time fluctuation today. L basically what you want to do is you want to look out for the cards that are very popular in game that a lot of people like to use. This guy was down to the low to mid 170s. He bounced back up to 190k and there were plenty of examples of that stuff that happened today as well. Road, uh, not road to the final, but the Rule Breakers Pugba, I bought this card at 505k, sold it for a small profit at 540, probably could have sold it at maybe like 550, uh, but he bounced back pretty nicely. So I bought these Promes down here at about 118 as well, looking for those to kind of bounce back. And uh, I have one more Kimmich I'm trying to sell at 170, but I'm not sure what these Road to the Final upgrades are. I, I hope they come soon, man, because EA, we want some consistency of these upgrades, man. When we start having, you know, all this stuff being at different times and it's, it, it changes, it sucks, right? And it's it's hard to plan around. So please be more consistent if you will be. But uh, I did buy this Makalele for uh, 1.6 mil, as you can see. And the cheapest on the market at that time was uh, 1.9 mil. So I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to sell this at about 1.8, make a nice flip out of that. That'd be a very nice card to flip. Uh, I actually, I should try them out before I listed that should have sent them to the club and tried them out, but the market is very high, right? And I'm going to show you a couple examples of icon moments cards that have really gone up, uh, in price today. Now, one of them is not on my transfer targets at the moment. Um, but if we go back here and through search through some icon moments, 
there's a couple of these guys that have really, really gone up a lot today uh, from where they were at. And one of those I want to talk about first is this Luis Hernandez El Matador. This guy was about 1.1 mil. I sold one. It's on my transfer list. I bought this for 999,000 coins literally 24 hours ago. Sold it Thursday night into Friday for 1.1 mil. He is up another 100,000 coins right now in this game. Up big is that card right there. Philip Lam is another one. This guy was around like 1.1 million coins early in the week, 1.2. He's 1.3 mil right now. So some of your really meta icon moments cards have had a very, very nice rise. Schweinsteiger is another one today. This guy had a crazy rise. He got really, really rare for like an hour or so. He was 1.75 mil earlier this morning. He's now back up to 2.1. He had actual, a couple cards of his actually sold at 2.3 mil. Um, but if we take a look through a lot of the team of the weeks in general, a lot of this stuff is up. Now, of course, Sun is up because we play Arsenal on Sunday. So there's a potential four win streak going on there. Goretzka 625, Holland is 710. Oop McConnell 377. So a lot of your impacts, special cards from these teams are up a lot. Kulusevsky 460, that is way up. Barnes 380. James is down a little bit at 620. That might be an undercut because he was just 660. Yeah, that's an undercut because he is at 660,000 coins. So up 110K from where he was on Thursday. Now, do I expect this market to really come down? I, I don't expect like a huge market crash like we had before, but we are getting closer to foot birthday. And if they do foot birthday like they did in previous years, now I'm not telling you to go sell your cards. I'm not saying that at all. But um, with SBC fodder being a lot lower, of course, yesterday with that SBC that was released, the um, the party bag SBC, a lot of people invested for it, but the 84s really didn't move that much. I think it was just because it was very, very invested in. Um, and so, yeah, 84s went up a little bit. It looks like they're kind of spiking right now. Maybe after some of the people who are selling the cards have sold them off, which is a GG if you held your 84s, which is what I definitely would have done. But it looks like they're finally going up a little bit because they were really not moving too much. Um, but with foot birthday coming, right, that's a part of the year where a lot of people know that foot birthday cards are always cracked. Like if we look at the foot birthday team from last year, we're probably going to be doing this a decent amount over the next week or so. But just to kind of put this in your guys' minds, foot birthday squad from last year cracked out team right of course foot birthday uh team two that came out too was really nasty right rashford mbappe hazard griezmann havertz hernandez st maximum uh, sissoko lozano big name players as a part of foot birthday that's a promo that is almost never an l future stars and foot birthday are always two staples post team of the year that are very very good promos so now i'm not saying we're going to see a huge crash on the market because foot birthday is coming right now foot birthday is probably still about two weeks away but just to kind of put that out there, there is potential uh, for that to be happening. So what can we do right now when this market is high? Well, of course, we have live cards that you can still watch and their prices are still fluctuating, right? Sancho is up 60K. Odegaard's actually down. He was like 450, he's 437. There are a lot of games this weekend that are impacting what if cards, road to the finals, or not road to the finals, road to the final uh, games will be next Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, but the what if cards and headliners, you know, you've got Crystal Palace with Zaha, Leeds and Chelsea, which has got Conte, what if, and Rafinha. Everton and Burnley, you've got um, Richarlison going on here. Manchester City, I don't think there's any Manchester City what-if cards. Um, you've got uh, Atletico Madrid. They don't have any. But in, this one's the big one right here in the Bundesliga. Dortmund and Hertha, of course. Because if Dortmund score one goal, that means Sancho is getting his what-if upgrade. That's a big one. Um, you've got some Sassuolo as well for the objective player. And Udinese for my left mid. Uh, yo, I really need Udinese to start, start scoring goals because this Perea card is sick. Oh, Marseille is playing as well. So Thalvin, uh, potential for more goals uh, for Thalvin. So these games will be affecting some of the what-if players today. Uh, now, some of these guys had fluctuations too, right? What if Team 2 was really, really expensive this morning um, for a Friday heading into the promo? Diado is like 180K. He went down to 150. He's rebounded back to 168. Morales was 115. He went down to 1.05 and is now went back up. But then, of course, they only scored one goal, so he is down to 1.04, 1.05 once again. So the market's very high, right? If you want to try to trade with some cards this weekend, you can absolutely do that because the market is high, the market is confident, people are moving cards around, they're trading with them. So 
Icons, icon moments, great cards to trade with this weekend, 100%. Um, out of pack specials though, right on bid. You look at this Draxler, this guy's selling for like 110,000 coins. This one just went on bid for 96K, boom. It's like instant 10K profit after tax on a card like that. Out of pack specials, literally just going through here and bidding on some of those cards could get you a lot of profits, right? It seems it seems too easy, right? But it's actually true. You can do a lot of bidding uh, and a lot of stuff to find deals on the weekends. Obviously, you can find undercuts and stuff like that too, but don't overthink it, right? Just find a couple of special cards that a lot of people like to use, that like to play with in FIFA, that are popular, that are meta, and just hop on some open bids. Hop on some open bids. Uh, like this promo looks to be about 130 maybe 125. Um, hopefully it goes back up a little bit more into the day on Saturday. Um, but that's kind of just the state of the market right now. It is very high. SPC fodder isn't really that high. Um, as we, we did take a look at, we'll take a look at SPC fodder as a whole right now. Um, 83s are about 2000 coins. Those are up a bit. 84s are up a bit. 85s are up. So stuff is up a little bit. But stuff is not up a lot, right? 91s with De Bruyne, Lewandowski, 94,000 coins are really not up that much. It was a little bit of the lower fodder that was impacted. Now, of course, this weekend, maybe today on Saturday, maybe on Sunday, we could see another Icon SBC returning. I feel like we are due. EA, especially during the second half of the year, and especially how things have been going this year, I would expect EA to drop another sort of not Icon player SBC, but an icon upgrade SBC pretty soon. Whether that do be today or whether that do be on Sunday, uh, I think one of those two days we'll get some sort of an icon SBC. Now, of course, just to run over Edison Cavani, this is purely a sentimental value SBC is, uh, I think, the best way to describe it 100%. Doesn't have very good traits, three-star weak foot, um, and it's probably not the best card in game. 370,000 coins, so EA put the Manchester United tax, and they're pulling on Manchester United fan heartstrings here with this one to get this Cavani card. So GG's if you're doing that one. It's a fun card to put on your team if you're a United fan. But for meta and usability, probably not uh, looking like the best card to be doing. But I will say, this is what I would want to get into and talk about a little bit next uh, is that the response from EA has come in on their um, the whole investigation, right? They made a little response tonight. They called it another pitch notes um, from their initial, um, I guess, letter saying that, hey, we know there's some stuff going on. So this is the pitch notes article that they put out. Now, of course, I'll link this down below if you want to read through all of it. It's basically a lot of them just saying that they're upset, they're not happy, they're going to find out who did it. And the biggest thing is, uh, is that they are going to ban all of the accounts and remove all the items from the ecosystem. This is the foot market. They're calling an ecosystem now. That's another fun term we'll have to throw around. Um, they're going to take those off the game. So again, right here, our initial investigation so shows questionable activity involving a very small number of accounts and items. Although it's not a large number, if these allegations prove out, this activity is unacceptable. We think... We want to thank our committed community members for bringing the issue to our attention so quickly. You're welcome. We are your own police. We bring a lot of other issues to you uh, directly, and you don't you don't seem to notice, but this one you did. Uh, let's be clear. Our investigation is completed. We will take action against any employee found to be have engaging in this activity. That's an IRL banhammer, if you will. Any items granted through this illicit activity will be removed from the foot ecosystem, and EA will permanently ban any player known to have acquired content through these means. Now, I want to cover this question and this comment for a second too, because I saw some people on Twitter tonight debating about whether if Joe Schmo, who paid 1500 whatever dollars to buy an Icon Moments card, he should, there, there, some people are saying that that person who should get compensated because the EA employee was in the wrong, but this person who paid the money was not. I 100% disagree with that because if you're somebody over here wanting to buy one of these icons from the EA employee for X amount of dollars, you know fully well what you're getting yourself into. You know that you are crossing the line, crossing over the terms of service rules, and you are doing something that is not legal and not right. Now, you, you can't play dumb over here if you're somebody who wanted to buy Prime Icons because the amount of people that didn't even know this existed is way above the amount of people who even thought that it would be possible for them to do. So 
I think it, this is the rightful means right here. I think this is the rightful means. Now, of course, you, you could look at it and say, well, uh, the the all these different uh, coin selling websites, they don't get banned, right? Well, this doesn't involve directly somebody at EA. It's coin selling websites, it's third party, and to EA, you know, yes, those guys maybe eat in on some of their profits because people are buying coins instead of FIFA points, but this involves somebody at EA, and that's why this action is being, I guess, put to light, and that's why EA is treating it differently than they would like a coin buyer or coin seller. Um, they still ban for that stuff, but they don't put as much effort in because it doesn't involve somebody at their company, right? But I think this is the right means to do this from EA Sports. I think wiping the, the accounts is the right thing to do. Now, it does seem, you know, a bit harsh because like, man, I wanted to buy Moments R9 and now boom, I found a way to do it and now my account is banned. Well, you, you knew what you were doing. So in that sense, yeah, we, we get it. But uh, I, I love some of the comments here from EA, right? Uh, we, we were angry too. <laughs> okay, cool. GG's. Uh, they're mad that they are shaking the trust that they have with us. Okay. Uh, the trust. Okay. And then they also went down here to explain what content granting is. Basically, the methods that these people at EA used, the the Shea, right, if you will, Shea is the name of the person that people are using as the, like the behind the scenes employee that was doing this. We actually don't know. I think it comes from like an EA help tweet that was shown or whatever. Um, but they basically explained what content granting is. You know, if somebody accidentally deletes their account, we can give them their stuff back. Uh, testing, they'll give out items for testing and qualification or whatever, GG's. And then discretionary content granting for athletes, partners, and employees. I mean, yeah, if you work at EA, it's probably a little bit of a perk of the job that you're going to be getting um, a couple of cards, right? So they say here that often we want to recognize contributions that have been made by pro footballers, celebrity partners, or even our own employees to drive it forward. So I understand how an employee at EA may have a little bit extra. You know, like if you look at maybe if Jamie Foot Economist would ever post his team on um, on Twitter or something, he's probably got a stacked out squad, right? Because he works at EA. So that's kind of just like perks of the job in a sense. But here's a little stat that I kind of found interesting. The sum of the items granted through these three scenarios is combined less than 0.0006% of the total player items in the FIFA 21 ecosystem. So, first thing that I think about when I see this is, this is my you know accounting slash market mind going to work here. They have this graphic, they have this number, 0.0006% of the total player items in the FIFA 21 ecosystem. That means they know what items are in the market, how many items are on the market. And it, I mean, not that I doubted that they would, but this is them coming out and saying that, hey, we have a lot of, you know, actual numbers and a lot of knowledge on the number of items that are on the market and specifically the items that have been granted via pro players, via testing, via just, you know, putting cards back on people's account. And they also did mention it here that when they do this, it is um, untradeable. Um, so it is not always, they're not giving out like tradable cards. I think it says in here that they grant those untradable uh, so that it does not affect the market. But uh, I just I just found that kind of interesting because, you know, sometimes it seems like they don't have the information. They have all the information. They have all the graphics. So, or graphics, numbers, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yes, this number of players, there's really not impact. That's why whenever you face somebody in foot champs or you see a picture on Twitter of somebody posting like a pro player squad, it's like a big deal because there's not many of those cards that are out there in the game. So, uh, what's happening now? We have launched a rigorous investigation, narrowing how this may have happened and identifying those accounts which have received content through this illicit method. We will permanently ban any accounts identified as received items transferred nefariously, and we have suspended all discretionary content granting for an indefinite period. So, sucks to be a real-life footballer if you wanted to get your EA card and you haven't gotten it yet. You can't get it right now because uh, people trying to buy Moments R9s for 1500 $1,500 have um, kind of ruined it for you. So there's that at the moment. Now, I'm just thinking of this right now as I'm reading this. If you were somebody who bought Moments R9, what if you uh, went onto your account and like quick sold the cards? Would like you not get banned? Or would EA be able to see? I think they would still figure it out because again, they have all the info of like when cards are transferred and like every single card has like an ID number. I don't know if you guys know this, but every single card has like an ID number 
uh, and they can track like that specific card, I believe. Cause I've had, I've heard stories about stuff when people like lose their accounts or whatever. So they'll be able to find specific cards. So I don't think that would work, uh, but I'm sure that the guys who got these cards or bought them from the EA people uh, are definitely not feeling too good about it right now because uh, they are gonna be losing their accounts and uh, the players that are on them. So I wanted to talk about that as well because that's of course big news that is going around in the FIBA community. But again, today on Saturday, I'm expecting some sort of content, right? Whether it's a player SBC, whether it's some sort of icon SBC. Uh, if we were, if we got non-10 today, I'd be a little bit surprised. Um, kind of hoping that we get a little bit of something just for fun. But of course, everybody is sweating it out right now for the weekend league plus objectives. Uh, I am on five wins at the moment. I think I'm five and five to be completely honest. And it is sweaty out there, man. I don't think I've had more than one game this weekend so far, the first 10, that has been uh, just like a chill game. It's all been sweaty. It's been hard uh, all into like the 90th minutes, close or extra time. So that's just the state of this game at the moment. Uh, and But we'll talk about the market more, of course, later today. We'll be live on stream and talk about it as well. Link down below in the description. But that's kind of how I'm feeling about things at the the moment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace.